Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to what's very well going to be the finale of Stardew Valley. Take us away one last time, Willy. Because I played this day, or at least I came this far, to check. And it is indeed melon time. It is the 26th of winter. It's raining apparently too. But it's time to do pretty much the last exciting thing on this island, which is the frog cave that we've been waiting for. I brought kegs with me. Let's get our, our other stuff. Well, I guess we have our stuff. Got a duck feather today, so that'll be good for when it's time to gift Leo golden coconut. Sometimes they have mango trees in them, so that's good. Let's get rid of the crab pot stuff, except for the mussel, because that's in the mango tree too. Hey, we got pineapples. We could put those in the kegs, maybe. Until this thing is coffee bean nuts. Well, yeah, those melons are in. Let's not waste any time and tell the frog. It is indeed growing out here. Oh, wow. I didn't realize he stood up. Bombo pink, bombo juicy. Bringing me back to the good old days. Sunny days when things being sweeter. Me want to take a big bombo juicy bite. But me won't. Alright, we got five for that. Now, see the longo yellow ticklin thing that be waving in the wind. That would be wheat. And that's out there too. Got our tomatoes done too. Bombo Longo and when to run through it. Bombo tickling. Reminded me of an old girlfriend. <laughs> now me wanna tickle to you. But me won't. <laughs> this guy's ridiculous. Bring me back to good times long ago. 16 now. And finally, me wanna eat the zesty ground fruit but make the breath stink. You be growing that outside? Yep, that would be garlic. Me eating the thing once made the breath smell bombo bad. Reminded me of Papa when I was just a tadpole. Me want to take a big bite and smell bombo bad. But me won't. <laughs> me remember everything now. Thank you for reminding me. One last reward. 21. Bombo friend, I hope you grow into big bombo fruit, bulb. All right. Let's harvest this stuff now. Some coffee beans. So yeah, that'll definitely push us over the 100 to go see what's his face behind the curtain. But first, let's get these kegs going. This is a nice room. Got a little mini brewery in here. I can make more. I don't know why, because we're pretty much done here. Yeah, pineapple wine, man. It sells better than melon wine, I believe. So. These coffee beans. Since we're out here, we can plant them. Just start plucking this other stuff. One last time, I suppose. Because, yeah. Almost made it to the very end of winter. Oh, look at that. That's right. Harvesting on this farm randomly drops walnuts sometimes. I don't even know what to do with the garlic. I guess preserves, but even that's not really that good. Fiddlehead Rosado. You can get fiddlehead ferns anytime now because they grow in the jungle here. Now, sunflowers, they drop their seeds when you pluck them, don't they? I don't know. I don't really care too much. Hmm. 
I guess we get rid of the gold and the silver tomatoes because we're really just growing them for ammo in the fridge, I suppose. For some day, some reason that serves very little purpose now. Is there an equivalent to real life or in real life like that? Where you just reach the end? I mean, I guess kind of. I remember certain homework assignments kind of start to become that way when you're nearing the end of school. You know, when the teachers enter the mode where even they're kind of slacking off and they're just like, yeah, whatever you want to do. Everybody's just waiting for the final bell to ring or whatever. All right, we got some coffee beans and they're just going to produce more and more. And pretty soon this is just going to be coffee mayhem over here. So now, melons can become wine back on the farm instead of pumpkin juice. This wheat in the ground. Just because we have it, might as well Could get some beer going over here in whatever day I randomly play this again. It's going to be weird saying goodbye to this. But I think it's a good thing. There we go. Should cover that little messy spot right there. I gotta set up a dentist appointment. Well, what else are we gonna do with these things? Oh yeah, mailbox. Sure. There's another thing. He could pan plant a... Uh, a warp tower. Back to the farm. Well, if you have the return scepter on you at all times, there's kind of no point in that. But yeah, I guess this is also you never have to actually go back to your farm if you want to. You can just be here. But when you got as much going on back on the farm as I do right now, it's kind of like... Neglect at that point. So... The fossils? Let's try panning again? I don't know, we're just kind of twiddling our thumbs here. But I suppose we should finish out the day at least. Nope. Omni geode and copper ore. Um, there's the parrot at the entrance to the volcano. We have the walnuts now. What else are we going to do with them? So this just leaves the one that puts the warp tower, I believe. This one just kind of seems pointless because you need your watering can in here anyway. Cool bridge, though. Kind of reminds me of, like, Bowser's Castle or something. Well, okay. Wait, what? The whole time that was there and I never shook that bush? <laughs> okay. A little late. Let's go to the jungle. Let's say hi to Leo. Hey! Well, there's the aquamarine bird. What do you know? We got to see all four after all. The speed back up dying on me here. Oh, there's that too, the banana altar, but I don't have bananas yet. A gorilla comes down and gives you walnuts if you plant three bananas there or something. Yeah, we already gifted Leo this week. It hasn't reset yet, so I can only say hi. Prevent decay at least. Well, two buried in Pirate's Cove. Still. Okay, if he's squawking that hint I guess it's something to go look uh, hang on let's get to this chest I had to move this thing because it broke randomly 
I don't know if it's like the ocean waves or what, but it, I, as soon as I arrived here yesterday, it was all shattered and stuff. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Kind of like what I was saying, I lost that statue in that worm bin. Stuff's just breaking at random. I kind of like that little mermaid tune. Uh, Pirate's Cove is this, right? Or is it the whole thing? Can you even... Dig in here at all? Seem to be anything going on, really. No, not diggable. Must be outside then. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that would work. <laughs> Just hoe the pond. Oh, wow, I'm so stupid. How, how many times did I walk by that just now? But he said two were buried out here. What other painfully obvious thing am I missing that means? I don't know. It's getting late though. I don't know if that dude's curtain closes. Probably not. I give up. I don't care. Perhaps it's... Well, I think I have all the secret notes. The journal things. It is super quiet. Wow. Bet you can just hear my laptop fan going. I guess when things end, they really just go dead silent. I don't know. Let's see what's behind this dude's curtain. Well, 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 look who's made it to my secret walnut room. You're everywhere, man. I'm truly impressed. Even though you only needed a fraction of the walnuts to gain full access to the island, you decided to push yourself further. Your desire to enter this secret door was so strong that you went above and beyond to get inside. That drive is what sets you apart, kid. You've got a very special energy. I have, like, no drive at all in real life anymore, dude. That being said, you weren't under the impression that the challenge ended here, were you? Well, kinda. <laughs> In fact, the challenge has just begun. All right, pointy hat. On your left, you'll find a board with some very interesting opportunities. These challenges, which I've designed just for you, will push you to your very limit. However, if you can successfully conquer my challenges, you'll earn an exclusive currency. I call them... Key... Chi gems? Just don't put them in your mouth, kid. They're highly radioactive. What? You can use the machine on your right to trade these gems for rare and powerful rewards. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, I have a feeling someone like you will enjoy this very much. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have important business to attend to. Is he monitoring a map of the island? Hmm. Well, here we go. Junimo cart endless and give 50 love gifts in one week. That actually is really tough to do. Three days left on these. No way. Here we go. This is basically the list of, call it the would have been nice way earlier in the game list. Horse flute, play it to summon your horse at will. I don't know what this does. Hopper, it's kind of like it, it auto-loads things. If you place it in front of a furnace, 
it'll load the things into the furnace. Enricher, auto fertilize. Pressure nozzle is amazing. You can expand iridium sprinkler range. Get your valuable materials back. Key to the town. Oh, wow. Access to all buildings any time of day. You probably still can't do business, though, if the people are asleep. There they are. Galaxy souls. Three of those onto a galaxy weapon. Fuses an infinity weapon, which is the best thing as of this update. So that's really like the thing worth going for. Oh, I guess you can grow those rare mushroom trees. Magic bait. Oh, any any fish is available anytime. This is interesting. It greatly increases everything about food, even like the duration of the speed buffs and stuff. His hat, who cares? Some kind of aquariums. Oh, yeah, heavy tapper. I kept seeing this on the wiki. Radioactive bar. We haven't even seen that. Hyper speed grow. Basically just ultimate versions of stuff we already have that work faster and better. Oh, the hopper recipe, too. Magic bait. Exotic double bed. It's not a fisher double bed. Well, there you go. Like I said, basically the list of it would have been nice some time ago. <laughs> it's kind of just bragging rights, really, going for that stuff. But he does have a perfectionist rating, too. There's something in that room that tells you how close to true 100% you are. And there's a true a statue of true perfection that gives you a prismatic shard at the start of every morning instead of the just the statue of regular perfection. Um, I thought this guy got radioactive bars now. Gotta double check. There's something about those radioactive... There's radioactive ore and the bars. I don't know. So yeah, that's that's the 1.5 stuff, really. Um, just gotta keep befriending Leo so I get those recipes. Wait on the bananas and the mangoes. Maybe take on that guy's challenges, but it's kind of all just plugging along, doing whatever, you know. Like I don't know that there's really much left to record in terms of videos. So, goodbye, Ginger Island. Oh, look at all this stuff. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be weird. Because this has been... pretty much my whole focus for the last two months. Hey, bring cinder shards. I, I could do that. And I have stingrays from the other day. We're ready to maximize this thing and get some dragon teeth, hopefully. Kind of sucks, though, because I was looking. And the stingray row is way less valuable than the sturgeon row. Because remember, there was sturgeon in this pond. I got rid of them. I thought it would give me the fish back to sell, but no, they just disappear. So the island chest is, I guess, just that. I guess we should think about closing remarks now, I suppose. I don't know. Yeah, it's just going to be weird. I do want to start focusing on real life stuff, though. I feel like being absorbed in this kind of fantasy routine. It's kind of like anything when you spend too much time doing one thing and then you have eventually, no matter what, you have to come back to reality, because unfortunately we're all stuck in it. Let's do the melons, because we got them from the farm. But yeah, I want to get the dentist sorted. i got to do some follow-up appointments otherwise. And I really want to somehow get back to a gym, but I just don't know if it's uh, safe yet. I've been thinking about Ring Fit Adventure, but I, I just can't 
seem to get over the hurdle. I debate with myself all the time, do I really want to spend $80 on, like, a little circular band? For a game that's probably kind of whatever. Like, how much am I really going to play it? But I just wonder if that's kind of the push that I need. You know, pretty much being by myself with no friends around anymore to kind of go to the gym with. I don't do Fiddlehead Risotto. Risotto. That's how you actually say it. Um, yeah, and I've just been finding it very hard to get back to healthy things. Like, there's so much I want to change to the point that I've been thinking, what if I just take a whole month off? Like, how many times have I said that but then never actually have done it in, like, the last three years? But in some ways, it kind of really does feel like now is the best time for it. Um... Garlic here. That garlic doesn't sell for much. Let's do pumpkins instead. For the rest of it. Yeah, I know, like, so much the past month in all of the idle time in life I've just been thinking about how badly I just want to reset and get back to a healthy way of living, yet I don't do anything to actually make it happen. I don't know, it just seems, going back to the drive thing, it seems so hard anymore just to do what you know you should be doing. And something about tax time, too, having just paid all the taxes, it just feels like a reset point. Where it's like, all right, you got a whole year now financially ahead of you. What are you going to do with it? And in many ways, stepping away from this kind of stuff and kind of working towards what used to be feels like the right starting point or something. Like, I don't know, man. Wow, we're almost at the start of the new year. What? We got some kind of an achievement, and that's kind of fitting. Is it money related? 83,000. That starfruit. Iridium starfruit wine, man. Yeah, that stingray row. Look at it. That's not good at all. Compared to what the caviar was bringing in. Well, let's see what that achievement was, at least. Legend 10 million. Really? Was that here the whole time? I thought it stopped after the a million one. Well, how fitting is that for the finale, I guess? Sure enough, total earnings, 10 million, 37,000. That is insane. And this song, too, also fitting. For the final farewell, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, just milking it. So yeah, I guess, uh, thank you guys, if you've been watching this the whole time. Really, thank you. Because, uh, I definitely like doing these series for games that I'm really engrossed in and stuff. More so than, you know, those Zelda randomizers and stuff. So anytime these Let's Plays gain a little bit of traction, it feels way better than any of those videos do. Because I'm still trying to break out of that trap, and I don't know if it'll ever happen. Well, yeah, thanks again to Blackout for the code for this game. 
It's definitely been awesome these past two months and came at a much needed time, like I was saying in the other finale, I guess, if you want to call it that. But yeah, I don't know what's going to happen next. I'm still potentially toying with taking some time off just to focus on health and real life stuff and get back to something. But we shall see. Zelda Skyward Sword comes out in July. But otherwise, thanks a lot, you guys. This has been my longest Let's Play in terms of number of parts, and it's been nuts. So thank you, and I'll see you around.